Good evening and welcome again to Compline this Friday with the Vic, the Ted and the Cheeky Bed. Let's have a moment of quiet as we begin, shall we? you will keep us safe and protect us forever. In place for my soul and my body in thy safe keeping this night, O God. In thy safe keeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, O God, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their falls. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. And tonight we're thinking about it's your choice. Deuteronomy 30, verses 15 to 20. Look, I present you today the straight choice between life and death, good and evil. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am giving you today, loving the Lord God, following his ways and keeping his commandments, instructions and laws, then you will live and prosper and the Lord God will bless you in the land you are about to take possession of. If, though, you turn your hearts away and refuse to listen, misguided, misguidedly paying homage to other gods and offering them service, I tell you straight that you will perish. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to occupy and possess. I invoke heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have presented you with a choice between life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live Love the Lord your God, obey him, and hold fast to him. Something to ponder. You probably have noticed the plethora of TV programmes which recently featuring robots. There's techno games, battle bots, and the queen of them all, robot wars. It all makes for good viewing, particularly the sight of various high-tech creations smashing the living daylights out of each other. I'm tempted to say that it can't be much fun for the robots, but of course, the robots don't care either way. The day of the thinking, feeling robot is, we're told, on the way. But for the time being, robots simply do what they're programmed to do, with no feeling or emotions, no will and no purpose of their own. I suppose God, if he wished, could have made us like that. Mindless automatons at his beck and call. There would have been no disobedience then, no sin to spoil the world. But then again, there wouldn't have been any pleasure or fulfilment either. Not for us anyway. For that, you need free will. With all its associated dangers and problems. We can abuse that gift as often as we do, or we can use it wisely, seeking God's help and guidance in the decisions we make. He invites us to respond, but he will not take decisions from our hands or seek to control us. It's our choice. So ask yourself tonight, do you use your free will wisely? What does choosing God and his way involve? Let's pray. Living God, you do not compel me to serve you, but you invite me rather to respond to your love. You do not impose your will upon me or dictate the course I should take but instead you offer your guidance, giving me signposts to walk by, but ultimately 
believe in the decisions I must make in my hands. I thank you for this wonderful expression of trust, this freedom to choose and discover for myself, and I ask that you will help me use it wisely, trusting you in return, in seeking, so far as I understand it, to honour your will. Give me wisdom and courage to make the right decisions, at the right time and in the right place, to the glory of your name. Amen. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake, guard us while we are asleep. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening, for ever and forevermore. In the name of the Father Precious and the Spirit of Healing Balm. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me and Ted on the checky bed this evening for Compline. As I always say, as you pray for others, remember you need to pray for yourself. As you help others, you also need to help and care for yourself. Let's continue to pray for our world. So much in need of God's love and peace. Good night and God bless you.